Hey everyone! Last time I did a books I read or reading wrap up video was in 2020. That video was of the books that I read in 2018 and 2019. I didn't make one in 2020 to post in 2021 because I barely read any books to make a video. Now for 2021, I did actually read enough books to be able to make a reading wrap up video. Obviously, I won't be doing any spoiler reviews for any of the books that I have read in case if you do want to read the book or the series as well. The order that we'll be doing the books in will be of when I read the books throughout the year. So let's move on with the reading reviews and discussions of the books that I read of 2021. The first book is Alex Ryder Point Blank by Anthony Horowitz, orphan turned teen super spy, standing face to face with pure evil and saving the world one mission at a time. Trapped. Kids are dying mysteriously at a Swiss boarding school, and Alex Ryder, reluctant teen super spy, is going undercover to find out why. But the mystery he uncovers is more nefarious than he'd ever expected. And now the clock is ticking on Alex's mission. Is his luck about to run out? I have been a fan of Alex Ryder since I saw the movie in 2015. Then I read the first book, Alex Ryder Stormbreaker, in 2016, and I wanted to read the whole series after reading that first book, which has a lot of books in the series. And Anthony Horowitz is still making more books of the series. I didn't read any more of the books after that until I found out that they were making a TV show of the book series. And that's how I got back into reading the series. The Alex Ryder series quickly became one of my top favorite series after reading this book. This book was awesome. It had action, mystery, suspense, and adventure, all of which I really enjoy a lot. The story is really well done and there was a lot of twists and turns to the story. Some of it was a bit predictable but I still really enjoyed it because for me whenever I'm trying to guess something of the story I usually don't guess it correctly and when I do get it right then I'm actually really happy that that happened in the book. The TV show, which Point Blank is season 1, is an amazing show that I love a lot. And I thought that they did an excellent job at bringing the story and characters to life. If you want to know more of my thoughts and reactions of the book, I did do a reading vlog for it. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to the description to it down below. The next book is The Captive Kingdom by Jennifer A. Nielsen who is one of my top favorite authors. Since this is the fourth book of the series, I'll be reading the summary of the first book, The False Prince. Four boys, one treacherous plan, an entire kingdom to fool. In a faraway land, civil war is brewing. To unify his kingdom's divided people, a nobleman named Connor devises a cunning plan to place an impersonator of the king's long-lost son on the throne. Four orphans are forced to compete for the role, including a defiant and clever boy named Sage. Sage knows Connor's motives are more than questionable, yet his life balances on a sword's point. He must be chosen to play the prince or he will certainly be killed. As Sage moves from a run-down orphanage to Connor's sumptuous palace, layer upon layer of duplicity and deceit unfold, until finally, a truth is revealed that may very well prove more dangerous than all of the lives taken together. This series quickly became one of my top favorite series. This series is also a middle grade to young adult kind of book, basically in between PG and PG-13 rating, only because of intense violence. First of all, check out my spoiler free review video on the trilogy first, and then come back to this part of the video. That way you'll get an idea of how much I love this series. I'll leave a link to the video in the description down below. Also, I made that video four years before The Captive Kingdom came out in 2020. If you want to know more of my thoughts and see my reactions of the book, without spoilers of course, I did make a reading vlog for this book as well. Again, if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Now, if you enjoy fantasy series with action, adventure, mystery, on the edge of your seat, and intense kind of moments, humor, and some awesome plot twists like I do, then this is a series that you will definitely enjoy.